Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the game show where you, dear viewer, predict which one of these fuckers will DC as soon as they lay items upon me. Uh, I will just say right now, this is the first successful use of Sacrificial Pact, actually. Because uh, they did want to go to Grave of Glenvale. And I stopped that shit in its tracks. There is a lot of high numbers though in this one, so game quality might be quite poor. Mentioned this in the past. Game is not designed for survivors that can loop, so we'll have to see. It doesn't have a live. We only just get that. I forgot to take um, Rapid Brutality off, actually. I don't think it's that good because it doesn't really do anything. She could have made for this, so this is just all arbitrary. Pallet over there. She didn't use it for some reason. We use this for slowdown. Yeah, it looks like made for this. I've got haste at the moment. Yes, yeah, made for this. That we're going to leave her. She's impossible. High level lobbies, boys. Yep, there we go. You're going to get a front row seat to how badly designed this game is. We actually get that thanks to Coup de Gras. I wouldn't have got it otherwise. Come around the other side. Back to the pallet. Mm. Don't know where she's gone. Oh, yeah, we managed to confuse her. I do get the basement out of this, but I'm probably about to lose another generator. Nope, never mind. Don't know which who that was. There's nobody there. Yeah, uh, power struggle requires some amount of struggle. Do get the uh, shark pal out of it though, so there is that. We'll leave that drone there. One hook, three gens done. Gen speeds are perfectly fine. It's the maid for this user, so she's going to be uncatchable. We actually claw trapped her for some reason. Again, I don't know why that worked. She gets to the pallet because I made for this. I probably could have gone for coup de gras there actually. She's gone right around the back. Gone to the pallet. We'll go back for the Meg and that one generator. This is a textbook display of how badly designed the game is though. It's what I always go on about in all my videos. If you go against a team of basement dwellers like this, then you will literally just not win, ever. There she is. We'll get rid of the body blocker. We should be very fast at the moment as well. There's Coup de Gras. Wouldn't have got that without Coup de Gras. There's flashlights waiting everywhere. There's another Coup de Gras. Don't know where she is. Oh, we've moved to the pallet, so they've already got that as well. Things there. We might get this. We 
We've got three on the slug. I'm just going to go for this, honestly. She's near to the basement. There's Meg getting up. So if I'd have gone over for the Meg, I wouldn't have been able to get anything out of this. They will instantaneously be able to get Ace up as well. There he is. It's all design choices we've made in the past that make this game fundamentally stacked against the killer's uh, favour. Let's get rid of this. Don't know if it might be that one over there. It's not, but we'll... No, in fact we won't, because I can't actually defend that properly. There's the rescue attempt. We've still got two coup de grace. Put one round here as well, actually. We will commit to this. Look at this fucking move speed, dude. Like, it's literally nearly the same speed. I'm not going to chase him because he is Gabriel. There's a rescue. Uh, Gabriel will have made for this. It's guaranteed. So it's not going to be a chase that's worth investing in. I don't know if this was... It was the Meg. Nice. We'll get the mending on her. So that's delays again. This will be the Meg. There's that other gen being done. Again, I have I have zero control over this. There's no way I can actually stop that generator without loop, uh, breaking chases. There it is. She didn't have adrenaline, which is very surprising. Can't put her on that hook to my right. Uh, because it's a free escape hook. Although, actually, the doors are very close. One of them's right there as well. So we'll actually do this. We just basically need to camp this door now. I can't put... Um, in fact, let's get rid of that. Stick the drone there. That door is going to be 99 So what needs to happen here is I need to wait her invincibility timer out, then I need to hit her, provided she doesn't get a body block, otherwise she makes it out for free. So it's entirely possible that she still has uh, an invincibility here. Uh, there's no way for me to actually get around here. There we go. That was a misplay. Now we'll chase everybody else out. Get them two out. Wherever the ace might be, I don't know where he is. That's fine. He's going for the sabo, we'll go for the one in here. There's a chance at every conceivable opportunity in this game that they can actually get... Um, you know, a free escape out here, so you have to play like that. But yeah, there's what high MMR looks like, and why I systematically cherry-pick lobbies, and also, you know, try to avoid this shit as most as possible, because it is the most two-dimensional, boring shite imaginable in the game. But there it is. As I say, I actually did burn a sacrificial ward, because I can just see this shit by the numbers. Made for this. Made for this. So two made for this is that was the Feng, which is why the chase at the tower took so long. Uh, she had adrenaline as well. Purposely didn't chase him because that's his character's perk, so it would have been redundant. Lo and behold, it was the ace. I had a feeling it would be the ace that burned um, Grave of Glenvale. Because it's a very easy to run survivor map. It's got one of the safest loops in the game. And yeah, there it is. It's like the fifth game where I get targeted and endgame, Meg is hated. It's not that you hate it, it's just the fact that the game is fundamentally stacked against me. So I have to get somebody out. So, you know. You just have to find the weak link. If there's no weak link, you're just fucked. It's as simple as that. Weak link in this situation isn't an insult towards the Meg. It's just literally, I had to find somebody who wasn't, 
running fucking broken shit like this that just breaks the game. But, you know, it is it is what it is. <clears throat> That's me choking. <clears throat> but yeah. All right, I'm probably going to take Rapid Brutality off because it's not doing anything, honestly. I do not feel 5% haste at all after hits. And it's basically just removing my ability to get Bloodlust as well, which actually does help um, School Merchant a lot. So, yeah. It is what it is. I'm probably not going to run this one. I might run Ultimate Weapon, actually. Um, I did have a good Death Slinger game with that uh, previously, so if we can find people quite easily early on and then get into chases quite quickly, it'll be... Uh, I think it'll be a bit better than Rapid Brutality. But yeah, there it is. We actually didn't have a DC in this one, though, so there's respect there. There's no respect for this, though. Uh, I just have to mention that every time. Resilience. I do genuinely, this isn't insulting anybody either, but it kind of is at the same time, but you know, it's not, in a, I don't say this with malicious intent, but I do believe these days, if you disable this perk, and maybe this as well, 90% of survivors in this game won't know how to fucking loot properly, quite honestly, they just won't be able to, because this, it's carrying a lot of survivors, and it's making people think they're good at the game, and it's not. <laughs> they're not. They're literally just being carried by three percent speed boosts for being injured. This this just rewards bad play, straight up. You get injured, you get three percent faster. It's a very bad perk design. I don't know why it left testing. Although I will, on the topic of this, just mention this because this was something I was actually going to uh, touch upon on my stream the other day. Um, in light of the recent live stream, which I watched this this afternoon, this is why I'm bringing this up. Um, the team that is now working on this game seems to be not Survivor mains anymore. Um, around the time that Hooks was released, so about six months ago, uh, the, the, it was just Survivor mains as the developers for this game, like straight up. You had, you know, every new issue with the game that came out, it was all the killers doing this. Isn't it bad when the killer does this and all this fucking wording shit that just alienates the killer pillow base? Um, but after watching the live stream tonight, they've sort of... The, the, there was new faces there, at least for me anyway, and the pair of them were saying things as though it was a neutral argument, rather than just saying, killer's bad, survivor's good, you know, that sort of thing. So, maybe the game is actually going in the right direction, and they might actually fix this perk at some point. But, I will... You know, I won't wait with bated breath or whatever the fucking phrase is there. You know, I won't be surprised if it doesn't get changed. Anyway, there it is. But there's an exceedingly sweaty game for you. And one that I honestly try to avoid because I don't want to play this shit. Honestly, it is boring, quite honestly. I'd rather go for chases and uh, actually run loops rather than just hooking somebody, moving away, making sure that, you know, watching them from a distance and then going back in for the kill to have any fucking hope of actually winning and even this wasn't a win three got out so it's literally just stacked massively in survivor favor in this this instance like this and you know as a result it just isn't enjoyable but anyway there it is i, tr I tried not to get as heated as i normally do and I actually didn't. It was weird that I didn't get as, as triggered in that one. I think it was because I was relaying my thoughts as I was going through it and I was it kind of calmed me in a bizarre way. But yeah, this I don't enjoy this shit at all, quite honestly, usually. I think it's fucking benign. Um but you know, that's what high level play is. Um and I do think it's hilarious when, you know, there's like a lot of big streamers that say, oh, we should be balancing around competitive players and pushing it towards high level. It's like, fucking no. Because it'll just be this shit over and over and over again. And it's fucking boring. I've only, I'm only being able to use coup de gras and rapid brutality because we're at rank reset at the moment. So I'm actually getting use out of other perks that isn't fucking four gen defense perks to plaster fix the game. But anyway, there it is. I hope you've enjoyed. There's a bit of a rant slash discussion at the end there because obviously I just wanted to get my thoughts out about that sort of game uh, for all three of you that watch my DVD videos <laughs> on YouTube, a primarily an Evolve channel. But, you know, it is what it is. hope you've enjoyed regardless and I will see you on the next one. Bye.